having power requirements on my RV. What exactly do you want? Do you want an all-inclusive thousand watt system with 500 or a thousand amps worth of battery power? Or do you want to go the route that we did and build your own solar slash battery bank? What do you want to do with your rig? Are you a weekend warrior full time like we are? What do you do like Laura and I do, which is we spend overnight at Cracker Barrel. We also boondock, and that's based off your needs. And here's the big one. How much money do you want to spend? Now, everybody cares about that one. But just like everyone else, we started with one battery, lead acid, found out within the first couple days, not going to work. Then we slowly started upgrading the system as our power requirements uh, grew. Is there multiple ways of building your system? Yes. Or you can build it yourself slowly and what I call future proofing and having multiple systems that work together. So if one system's offline, I simply throw a breaker and, and the other systems continue to charge my battery bank. Whether you want to do everything on top of the rig, if you want some ground power, which I've done both, and they both work well. Now the first thing we did was got rid of that single lead acid battery and installed two Renegy 100 amp hour batteries. But I wired them in parallel to their existing bus bar along with, you see here, the original uh, solar controller. This is, I also added a 2000 watt inverter, which I then used a simple 20 amp power cord to run back to my rig power junction point with a pigtail which powered up the rig. So we've done quite a few upgrades. 850 watts of solar, 650 on the roof line and 250 for the ground. I actually put a connection point here. Here I'm showing you my final um, equipment install. I have a DC to DC charger so my truck can charge my batteries. I now have 400 amps of AGM batteries, 3000 watt inverter, upgraded my wiring for that 3000 watt inverter. I've included several um, breakers, both for the disconnect from the solar and the solar controllers from the batteries for redundancy. I've included also a Renogy battery monitor. I made my own bus bars for negative and positive with grade eight and eighth inch steel.